Evet. year to capitalize or merchandise us or do whatever the fuck you want but you wait until I put out a video to tell me hey man if you want you can make a promo for $300 to promote season 3 to me that's a bribe that's that's bait right there what you're telling me is hey man don't tell anybody the truth you're, you're full of shit you're trying to keep my mouth shut and that's the last thing I want to do between artists and myself, or the fans. I, I'm tired of lying, you know. And, and it's just little stupid things too that the guy does that it, it just completely irritates the shit out of me. I mean, let's get real, man. Let's talk about those pickup lines. Those are fucking pickup lines, dude. You know what I'm talking about, because that's not how he talks. You know how he talks. I mean, he he goes on his Twitter. And he puts shit like, oh, you know, I'm learning how to let go, and I'm thinking to myself, that is just not the way he fucking talks, man. I mean, what, what was it that he said to you? I know you don't want to get involved, but, but honestly, what was it that he said to you? Think about this. You're looking for, potentially, the love of your life. You're looking for Jess. And at this point in time, Neve supposedly believes that the story is true, right? And... He finally meets you, halfway through talking and cameras are off, he fucking tells you, Oh, you're gonna get a lot of tails in this episode. So you're 
you're telling me the person that you're trying to be with, that doesn't matter, because throughout this whole show, you're going to get some tail, you're going to get some mail. <laughs> so, okay, you know what? I know he doesn't know you, but not everybody is like him. Not everyone is like you, Neve. Not everybody has cheated on their fucking girlfriend. I wouldn't cheat, man. Everybody know I wouldn't cheat, man. what he said he's, you know he's burying us and things like that you know it would have been beneath you to give us a job it would have been beneath him to give us a job hey, because you give me a motherfucking rally i'll give i'll give you motherfuckers a show i'll, I'll give you motherfuckers a show me and my family we'll show you motherfuckers we'll give you motherfuckers a show he, he gave this motherfucking family can show give you motherfuckers a show we all can put some shit together and go ahead and give a motherfucker a show man right well, that's I'm, what hey mtv give a motherfucker a show you know, I dance, I can dance, I can sing a little bit, woo hoo oh yeah, right. I can, whatever the fuck you want me to do, you know what whatever. I mean? No, but, but, <laughs> but for real, you know, we're, we're just here for the entertainment value. Yeah, when people take, 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 take it man. to the next level, and they talk about it being real, that's that's when I honestly draw the line, okay? We don't want to talk about yeah, those guys with like, like, like a motherfucking psycho <laughs> And I don't care about that if they're making money. Well, then they making me look like a dumbass, though, you know what I'm saying? Here, here's they my man, point, though. You know? You know what, you rich, you rich, smug fuck. Are you, well, yeah. You know what, because you've never had to deal with the hardships that regular people like you and I have to. Why else would we have to do this stupid ass show? Because we're obviously desperate for the money, we need it. But you know what, I believe that we put on the best episode. Otherwise, people wouldn't be talking. We wouldn't get reruns like we had one last night. They wouldn't put us on before the VMAs, okay? Something about the episode wouldn't. Uh, all the fans know and shit that it was something about that little episode that they even did love the Superman little episode. That we even, we even surprised me even Mac. They even know. They, y'all motherfuckers ain't know, man, until, you know, they all go down and, and the shit hit the fan. You know what I mean? It's just, you know, they got it. You know? It's stupid, stupid shit, too. I mean, I, I know we're talking about the show, but you know what? I've had so much problems. I've had just so much heartache with the guy himself. Yeah, I mean, he, had, so he had, I don't know what the fuck he had. See, me, I ain't really, I ain't had nothing against the man, you know what I'm saying, to be honest. The only thing that tripped me, I was like, damn, y'all threw us to the side and shit. Yeah, let me, let me, let me get in. He got a personal vendetta with his ass. Let, let me get into it a little bit. You know, there, that's dumb. I can talk about some funny shit, and I'll talk about some real shit. But you know what? Let me talk about some of the funny shit first, you know? I go on the guy's Twitter. My brother's like, yo, you know, you gotta check this out. You, you never have to leave. And I'm not Ron. I'm, you know, I don't care about the internet. But I check it out. You know, you're in there. You're in a yoga room. You got your shirt off. You're doing machine. Cur- I'm sorry. You're doing K1 
cable curls with your shirt off in what looks to be a ballet class. You know, this is this is the bullshit that I'm talking about. You know, you I can just see the writing on the wall. You, you go into the fucking yoga class with your MTV people showing up with your shirt off like your Johnny Bravo. You're doing your little curls. It's it doesn't dawn on you for one second that people are going to frown upon you for doing that. Because in all reality, I know what a fucking yoga room is. This is where this is where women go to to decompress. Like this is cheers for them. You know what I mean? They just sit around, they bitch, they moan, and of course, in walks the biggest bitch, Neve. And he comes in with with his fucking MTV crew, like the fucking Jihad Jersey Shore, doing fucking curls with his shirt off, man. I mean, get real. Who the fuck do you think you are? What the fuck is that? But it never dawns on you if, if somebody writes something shitty about you having your shirt off, like, it never dawns on you, like, why would anybody say something negative about that? Because you're so full of it, and you're so full of shit. The biggest problem I have with Neve, honest to God, is that I, I truly believe in my heart the guy's a coward. And I'll tell you why, you know, something that... I know, I know you wanted it, but me, this is something I've always wanted. I've always wanted to be on TV, but I just, I've always felt that I can entertain people, and I can make people money. You know, I, I don't belong making a 9 to 5. I don't, I don't belong doing that. And I think being on the show proved it, because even before I was on it, I was already convincing their casting members, their casting crew, their casting director, whatever the fuck they are, I already convinced them, if you have me on this show, I will give you the biggest episode ever. I will deliver. So, let's let's flash forward a little bit. Let's talk about the show's over, and it does just as well, if not better, than how I predicted. And, uh, you know, people are starting to take it to the next level, though. I mean, they're starting to call, or not call, they're starting to, uh, on my mom's Facebook, they're getting on my girlfriend's Facebook, and, you know, trolling is one thing, but, you know, I thought people would be intelligent enough to at least accept, you know, it's TV, it's entertainment, okay? Don't put my family into this mix, that's bullshit. Whether you think it's real or not, it's on TV. Use your fucking head. I shouldn't be the one telling you this. So, I, I thought, you know what, fuck it. I don't I didn't care anymore. Fuck it. I tried calling up Neve. I can't get a hold of him, so I have to text him. I'm like, look, here's the truth. Artis and I are friends, and this is what we did. We wanted to be on TV, and honestly, what we thought is, if we give you guys something good, you're going to want to market us, and um, it turned out better than I expected, and now my family's getting involved. Can we please do something? Because I don't appreciate all the flack like my girlfriend's getting. My girlfriend's getting fucking death threats over a stupid reality TV show. I mean, come on. So... I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting pissed off when I think about this. Um, a day goes by, and I don't get a call. I'm at work, I'm still texting the guy, I'm getting nothing. Finally, I mean, a few hours go by while I'm at work. I'm, abso- I'm absolutely furious, I'm thinking, what's going on? Okay, he's, he's probably busy. I get a text back from him, and he says, stand by. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, I don't understand, <laughs> you know, like, cell phone lingo, I don't understand, like, most I know is LOL. What the fuck is standby? I get a call. Okay, standby. I get a call. It makes sense, right? And I'm thinking, okay, cool. Neve's calling me. I get on the phone. I'm talking to his people. Hey, what's going on? This is Dave. I'm thinking, who the fuck is Dave? I don't want to talk to Dave. Where's Neve? This is his show. Get on the fucking phone with me for five minutes, man. I gave you the biggest episode, and you can't get on the phone? You have fucking Dave? Who's this queer? Who's Dave? Fuck him. Anyway, I get to talking to Dave, and I get to talking to his people for about a week, and as weeks progress, you know, what they're basically telling me is, hey, you know, uh, we understand it's a problem, but if it's really serious, you need to call 911, and meantime, we need to make sure you're not going to say anything, or Viacom's going to take you to court. So I interpret that as an empty threat, like, okay, you're not going to do anything. So I, I try calling Neve up again. I try texting him. I'm like, hey, you know, I don't 
really appreciate this, please get on the phone with me for five minutes. You know, talk to me about what the fuck's going on, man. You know, because to me at this point, I'm like, I'm thinking, you know what, you're just a nice guy on TV. You're just some Arabian Ken doll on, ten, on fucking TV. You're, you're the character that I portrayed for all these fucking... This, this is what gets me, too. It's a fucking freak show. He loves it. He eats it up. But when shit gets real and these characters are real and he's faced with real problems, he shuts them out. He has his people deal with it. And he tried to instill the fear in me, basically. Trying to put the fear in me, telling me I got a contract. This is what I think of your contract, dude. I can give a fuck about your contract. You're not gonna do that bullshit with me, dude. I'm not scared of you or your fucking people. Guess what? He's legal advisors. All those motherfuckers you called me, I saved all their numbers and I called them right back. And I said, hey, you know what? I can really give a fuck. You want to do something with me? Let's talk business. Let's talk TV. Let's talk about money. Because I'm willing to go out there and do something, as you can see. And so is my friend Artis. You know what I'm saying? Seriously. I'm not afraid of you people. You people want to do business, that's one thing. But you guys are going to give me empty threats? I can give a shit, man. You don't scare me. And he has the audacity to tell me, you know, well, what can you do for MTV? What makes you think you could... What makes you so special? I don't know, Neve. You're in my house for three hours when I'm a character. What do you say? Oh, well, the ratings after this episode. The ratings after this. You said that, Neve. You said that. Nobody told you to say that. This is what I mean by witless, stupid shit that you do, and you just don't think about it. You said that right in front of my fucking face. I didn't tell you to put us before the VMAs. You guys did that. They shit, what, what, what episode? Well, I don't even watch Catfish. I've never even seen our episode. They, they pushed some stupid shit. What was it, D-Pimpin' or, or, or B-Pimpin' or some shit. They moved their episode back so we can be on the, the night before the VMAs. And the ratings before our episode even came on were declining. You can see that. If you, if you look on the internet, you look up, as stupid as it sounds, even if you go on Wikipedia, you can see that the ratings were declining. And they actually reached 2 million when we came on. And this is at the regular time slot. I'm not even talking about the, VM, the VMA night. But this is what I mean, honestly. Like Being a man, you're not a man. You want to stick your dogs on me, dude? Go ahead. You really want to fucking surprise me? Call me. Show up at my house. Be a man. Talk to me for five fucking minutes, but you know what? It's too late now. Because I know you're full of shit. Because I know what kind of I know what kind of a manipulator you are. I know how sadistic you are, and I know what gets you off. I know you love catfish because it's your freak show. All those fat girls with Monroe's watching that piece of shit, they look up to you. And you're just laughing. And it's not funny. Not when my family gets involved, and not when you try to bury two, two nice guys. And you know what? I'm tired of being nice. I'm tired of keeping my mouth shut for that bullshit show because nothing is going to come out of it. Nothing may come out of Catfish. Something will come out of us. I'll tell you that. Because that's the last thing that I want to do is be remembered for that bullshit. That's not going to be the only thing we do. Look us up on, uh, look me up on Facebook. <laughs> Got a salesman. Yeah, yeah, look me up on, uh, no. No, but, uh, you can sign that shit out. You done did look, it. look, look, before, are you signing out right now? Right, before you sign out, honestly, I want to thank my fans. I know it sounds corny and cheesy and shit, but honestly, I do. I, I know that they know the truth. And I want to, I, I can't remember all their names, but, I mean, we got, like, uh, Kevin Naylor, uh, Claudia... Back, Benji over here. Um, again, these these are all the guys I, I can remember on Twitter. Um, uh, Mitch is another one. Sam Sam is from the UK. I want to thank all you guys for supporting me and obviously knowing knowing that all this is bullshit. And obviously, you guys didn't know it to this extent because kind of kept a tight lip, you know, it's hoping still, that they're going to do something with us, and it's, it's just... There's still some shit behind it, so if you really want to highlight a motherfucker, highlight a motherfucker, you know. So. But, uh, Artis, thanks for, uh, coming here, buddy. It's all good. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck you. Wow, here.
wobble, wobble, shaky, shaky hand. Yeah. You're, you're doing something with your face like you want me to do something right now. I don't know what you want me to do. You want me to thank the cameraman. Is that what you want me to do? You want me to thank Benji? All right, I'll thank, thank Benji the Polar. That's yeah. my homeboy Benji Tapola, and that's his motherfucking you Mustang right there. You can thank yeah, Black Mustang tell him Yeah, Black oh, Mustang. Oh, thank oh, Mr. Chocolate Kiss for coming out here. <laughs> and uh, this liquid white drop. Liquid right <laughs> yeah, whatever. Liquid drop. Yeah. All that bullshit. But, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I, lo I love it, too. How about, how about this story? That we became friends after. Is that what this story? Or how about this sh How about this you wanna shit? See, you want to see some check stubs? Yeah, I want to see some check stubs. Yeah, I know shit. See you want to see some W-2s? Yeah, I want to see or some Or how about this one, Eve? You know, I, I, li I like this one, too. I like it when Eve is like... Oh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, that's just crazy. Nobody's ever asking him the real questions. How come nobody's ever asking him? Did y'all get catfished? <laughs> y'all got catfished. Yeah. No shit. Sorry that somebody who makes 11 bucks an hour is smarter than you and all your MTV motherfuckers. You can eat a dick. Sign out on that.